there, Gary Larry here. Did you miss me? Well, I bet you did. Anyhow, today we'll be doing a review of Far Cry 3, sent to me by those lovely people at Ubisoft. Uh, they also sent me Zombie U, actually, but uh, unfortunately the Wii U's not out over here yet for another week and a half. So we'll be doing that sometime very soon. Anyhow, I digress. Today we'll be playing Far Cry 3, but I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently this week. As you can see, I've got the visual element of camcorderness, so you'll be seeing my... Uh, uh, facial awareness of the video game itself, and uh, I'll be on my own this week, uh, Ian's on around Sally. But, there you go. Anyhow, we'll get into the game straight away. Uh, uh, this is actually about four or five hours into the game. Uh, I thought I'd play a little bit first, so you don't want to be watching somebody reviewing all the tutorial missions, because there's nothing worse than that, is there? But I'm, you know, like I said, I'm about four and five hours into the game itself. Um, it's, I'm going to see what mission I'm on. I'll tell you what it is, because I've just forgotten what it is. So let's have a look. Uh, lovely long loading screens in this game, by the way. I haven't actually installed it to the hard drive, though, so it could be that, but yes. So let's have a nice long lit watch of these weird words coming up on screen. Any second now, it'll start. There it is. There you go. This is the uh, the base where I'm at. Uh, there you go. I'll hold down to interact. There you go. Okay. Oh. Well, you've got to say, Dennis. Ooh. Oh, that's right, yes. Who is she? Okay, come on. I know what it is now. Come on. Hey. I don't know what you got to There you go. Uh, this is missions that we talk to Citra, who is the leader of this uh, Freedom Fighters group type thing. Uh, where am I going? Let's have a look. Okay. Now, I need to set a waypoint for where it is. And uh, it's absolutely miles away, oh dear. Okay, so I'll put that, it's near uh, the blind spot as well. So I'll try and, maybe I can try and find a car to get there. By the way, if you're wondering if I'm playing this game a little bit rubbish, it's actually because I like playing games on the hardest difficulty. Uh, not because I like to prove my credit or anything, it's because I'm an achievement hall. So I always go for the hardest game mode. A little bit sad of me, I know, but you know, I do like those precious extra points. One day there'll be some use to me. And yeah, I've got, I've got in the car. Uh, very much like Far Cry 2, these first person bits of the car. I must confess, I never really liked Far Cry 2, could never get into it. I've tried playing it again from the start about at least thrice. Uh, I could never really get into it. Uh, First one, Far Cry Instincts, on the the console one, I absolutely loved, fantastic game. Uh, so yes, uh, I, I actually had the first one on PC, uh, a guy from Poland, uh, Connie sent it, donated to me when I had those, uh, that flood thingy, if you remember a couple of years ago, he sent me it as a sort of a gift type thing, oh dear. Let's have a look, Where are, how far am I? Go okay, bloody miles away, brilliant. Okay, uh, I'll go off bollocks, I'll get out and walk. Can't be walk. Oh, actually, you know, I should have chosen some better guns as well, shouldn't I? Probably better to go on foot as well because there's always uh, pirates, which are the, the antagonists in this game, they're always sort of hunting for you as well, so I always got to keep an eye out for them, so if you see me, oh shit, there's a fucking tiger, don't go near tigers by the way, uh, they will ruin your day, so yes, I keep away from tigers, uh, let's have a look, yeah. oh, they've given me really rubbish weapons as well, I should have, I should have uh, stocked up on decent weapons, now those are villains, I, am I going to risk it? Am I going to risk going after them? Because I couldn't. They can't get there. Oops, no, they didn't spot me. Okay, so what do I do? 
I don't really, do I? Okay, I can run across the street. See, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm playing on the hardest mode, so I really want to, don't want to risk starting fights with anyone because uh, I lose all my health packs and stuff. So I'm going to try and sneak around them because uh, that's how courageous I am in video. Oh shit, is it? Oh, there's a couple of deers, they're alright. Uh, there's animals in the game that you can hunt, uh, by the way. Um, you collect their pelts or skins for various. Uh, sort of extra pouches, like you can carry more guns and weapons and stuff like that. See if I can run up behind him and knife him. No. Oh, oh shit. I've got somebody uh, me. Oh, I've got all the funky music coming now. No, he doesn't know I'm there. Ooh. Too smart, are they? No. See that that's that white thing that comes up, that's when people can sort of detect your presence. Uh, you're perfectly safe until it fills up and flashes by the way, so you're alright. I'm alright there, they didn't spot me that time. They will actually uh, call out their mates as well for you, so you will get quite a bit of uh, heat after a while. These are uh, green leaves on the map, I don't know if you notice them. Uh, if you collect enough of them, uh, I think just two actually, uh, you can uh, make extra injection things to give you health things. A little bit like the Resident Evil type uh, health packs, really, where you have to pick up herbs. So, like, it just but you just need two green herbs to get a health pack thing, not just a green and a red one. The red ones give you more animal instincts things, so you can like detect people through the walls and stuff like that, and you can see their smells and stuff like that. Okay, there's more deers about. The other thing you've got to be careful about them animals is they're actually prey. So there are predators after them, like tigers and crocodiles and sharks. Well, obviously not on the land. You don't want to see a land shark, do you? But there was a weapon that, wasn't there? Anyhow, I'm going. I'm digressing again. So uh, how far am I? Well, I'm going to meet Citra. Poor girl's aimed after a French car. Poor girl. Oh, 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 I've got to hide. There you go, see so you've got to do a lot of that in the game. Oh, see somebody almost detected me. See there? Maybe I can, I can hunt him. I might go after these guns. What's he doing? I might twat him. Yeah, okay. Got ya! Oh. Now, the thing, the thing about it, so I kill some bodies, I can loot them. Which I uh, start touching them up their corpses. I've got a grand total of sixteen dollars. Ooh! I'll try not to spend it all at once. Uh, oh sh shit! Is that a car coming? These are lo these are boxes you find everywhere. You can loot them. I've got a conflict diamond worth thirty-eight dollars. Well, actually, no, it's a conflict diamond and something that's worth. $38. You can only pick up a certain amount of stuff to loot from people. You need to be a, buy a bigger pack, pelt. Uh, can I... What is that? Is that a ball? Oh, never mind. Um, I shall keep going. Actually, actually, tell a lie. If you see in the uh, radar thing in the corner, there's a big uh, telegraph mast. If I can get to that... Actually, I'm going to change the waypoint so I can do, do that. Uh, that will... Uh, open up the area, and uh, so I can find all the hidden items and f sort of various special locations in the area for that. It's a bit like the uh, sinking in uh, Assassin's Creed, if you've ever played that. You know the ones you have to spend, you know, half the game just climbing top of churches and then doing that little funny pivoting thing where he stands on top. Oh, oh. Okay. 
I do. I should have really, really should have got some better weapons in this game already. I, had, I bought a nice uh, silent sniper rifle actually early on. In my infinite. Oh shit! 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 shit. Oh! 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 In my infinite wisdom, I because uh, I was rushing the game at the beginning, I forgot to uh, do it. I forgot to uh, put it in my inventory, and I just got the standard AK and uh, pistol. So hopefully there's nobody about, and I can climb this telegraph mast. There's not normally anybody about when you look at these. Oh, it's a pig. Pigs are quite good. Hello, piggy. Come on, piggy. <laughs> Go. I think no. I forgot what uh, is this pig or boar? Pig, yes. There you go. A bit like um, what's this name? That isn't it? Uh, Red Dead Redemption. You have to hunt animals like that. Oh, he's fallen off the cliff. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not risking that. Where's the other pig gone? Where are you going, piggy, piggy? Is that him? Yeah, biggie, 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 biggie. There you go. Rolly pilly piggy. And yeah, sorry about that. I was having a little bit too much fun getting pig hide. Uh, I know I've forgotten what it's for now. And yeah, this is like a little puzzle thing. They have to climb to the top of the mast. Very much like um, Assassin's Creed, really, this bit. Where you get a choice of. Oh. There's uh, dogs, wild dogs now, because they can smell the uh, pigs, dead pigs. Uh, so yeah, so, like I said, there's a little bit of a puzzle element to how to climb to the top of these masts. Uh, like Assassin's Creed, like I was saying earlier. Oh, and uh, in real life I wouldn't dare risk climbing up something like this. Uh, obviously, because I'm not an idiot. But uh, uh, So when you climb, when you get to the top, which hopefully isn't too much further. Yeah, I know I've got to meet Sitch. I'm not stupid. It does like to remind you every five seconds. These uh, little bit of ro rope there it means you can climb up there. Uh, I don't know why they uh, decided to put that as an indication that you can climb up there or not. But uh, I think this should be the last of it, is it? Pretty high up though, aren't I? Very scary. Good job. Oh, there it is. This is this should be the last bit. <clears throat> she thinks so. this thing's high enough. Doo -doo -doo. And why am I looking up in the uh, in real life as well? You get a nice little bonus thing. Some decent. Oh, I was gonna say decent, but twenty six dollars isn't really that decent, is it? Uh, there you go. Holding. Never seen somebody use a knife like that. Surely they'd use a blade to sort of prise the lock off. Well I would anyhow, but you know, I'm not in the middle of the jungle I'm trying to repair telegraph poles. So there you go, there's a hidden location there. Bows will find uh, relics in the game and uh, those are old uh, Japanese war planes because there's a big thing about there was loads of Japanese soldiers from World War II in there. You can collect all the, uh, the, the notes from the thing. Oh I've got a skill point uh, which means I've leveled up Okay, I can have a look what I can learn. Death from above, I can jump onto an enemy. Hip shooting. Uh, no more health I can do at the moment. Uh, swim fast. I think I'll do the... Uh, uh, oh, I did an improved accuracy. Fortunately, it's one of these games that you can't just choose anything you want. You have to progress in the game. Further. And also, each time you do that, you get a little extra to two on your arm. Oh, I've got a free uh, flamethrower. There you go. To get there, and just use these uh, zip lines. Whee! There you go. Uh, let's have a look. How far am I now from there? Okay, let's have a look. Let's... Shall I drive the van? Shall I drive a truck down there? It's a nice. Uh... Oh, those are wild dogs. Where are they? Hey doggy doggy doggy! Hey doggy 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 doggy! <laughs> oh, there you got a free pig pelt, and I should get the dog somewhere. 
There's a dog. Where are you? Uh, where's the dog? Oh, there it is. Yeah, doggy, doggy. There you go, get dog. Dog pelt. Dingo pelt. Oh, it's a dingo pelt. I didn't know that. Dingoes are actually... Uh, you need it for one of the advanced uh, pouches that you can get, like, collect the most various weapons from. Anyhow, let's drive to the... Uh... Oh, oh, what was that about? Oh, somebody can spot. Somebody spot me. I better drop the... Okay, that was... Oh, shit. Okay, I've got to heal myself now. One of those games that you've got to shoot up to heal yourself. Always a encouraging message to young young things, I think. Anyhow, uh, okay, I do it. Oh, what's that down there? Okay. Uh, where am I? I'm stuck behind a tree now. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Good job I got out of that car in time. You can sort of ease yourself down cliffs slowly. If you're not, if you're quite clever about it, so I'll try and do that. See, look, just pull back on the thing, and it sort of does it. Uh, fortunately, I'm back on foot now, so because I was an idiot, because I drove off. They got, oh look, there's a part of the car. There you go. I'm glad that's not me. And yeah, Mitchy knows there. Let's have a look. Uh, you got. You've got to be careful of wide open spaces as well, because always patrolling cars. Kind of that, but you probably figured it out by now, haven't you? That, that sort of stuff happens. Anyhow, lots of... It's quite, actually for quite fun traversing to the locations. You can do fast travelling when you liberate uh, various camps throughout the game. So that helps somewhat. Uh, I've got itchy nose. I wasn't picking it, don't worry. Not that disgusting. Uh, oh, I've got to meet Dennis. Where's Dennis? Where are you, Dennis? Okay, I don't really want to risk jumping off this cliff. Ooh, ooh, nice big temple there. Uh, let's see, is it too far now? No, hopefully there you go. Let's... that down there? It's not my car again, is it? Citrus Temple? Okay. I want, I've Normally when I'm playing on my own, I do actually pause the game and read them, but there's nothing more boring than watching somebody do that, really, is there? When you're doing that. Oh, a U-Play achievement! Marvellous! Oh, what's this cutscene now? That's Dennis. No sudden news, okay? Alright. Dennis! Who stands beside you? A young warrior, here to be presented to Sutra. Proceed! Pretty good melon trapping. Oh, King Louis wants his temple back, won't he? Oh, there you go, that was nice, I thought. Oh. Follow Dennis, but I'll walk first, really. Come on, Dennis. Ooh, it's a little. Let me just loot this uh, container. Somebody's been putting poker chips in it. I don't know why they're valuable. Well, they are actually, but you need to go to the casino that they come from to cash them in. So I can't see there's too many casinos on this island. There's too many. Hello. Hello. All right. Stare me out. Oh, can't see again. This is Jason. I'm the one with tattoos that keep appearing on it when I level up. I 
she must be quite annoyed that she got rejected from Dead Island. So she set up her own liberation. Plot device. Oh god, it's one of these bloody prove your worth type mission things, isn't it? Oh! Oh, so this, yeah, there you go, it's one of these uh, prove your worth missions. Because obviously, nobody in video games ever takes you at face value, and everybody ever trusts you. Obviously, obviously, you might suspect I'm one of the villains because suddenly I'm the only white guy on the island as well. So. You are speaking out of faith. Do you desire the power to set you free? Yes. Drink. Oh, God. He's already got stoned earlier in the game. Sorry, spoiler alert. But obviously, he's going to be uh, doing it again now. My God, it's turned into 3D. Connect the memory cards to uncover Rook Island's sordid connection to drug cartels. Because, yes, that's what SD cards are for. You're giving information on drug cartels. That's where I put my uh, information. Yes, it's one of these drug trips. Yeah, either that, or I'm playing Just Cause. Yay! Oh, am I controlling again? Yes, I'm moving it really slowly, and I can't run. And those play playing friends of mine are no longer there. Ooh. Was that supposed to be a loosening trick or was that a glitch then? I don't know. And yeah, this is a, this is a weird bit, probably not the most exciting thing in the world to show you for a uh, review. But these are the uh, various sort of uh, trippy sequences they have throughout the game. Because obviously you can only be a warrior if you're a drug addict. Or completely stoned. It's Harry won the Second World War after all. And yeah. Oh, going in here. Yes, even more smoky room. Oh. Ooh. Oh, underwater bridge. Most useful of uh, implements for bridges. Sam Fish has really let himself go lately, hasn't he? Oh, another. That's Vaz, the villain of the game, and that's me. Well, not me, me, but the character I play. Uh, Jason Brody. On a Brody quest. Okay, there's no more floating rocks for a. Uh, uh, plot devices. So let's have a look up here. 
Hmm. This is fun. Oh, what's this? Is? Oh, hold X to grab hold of the sacrificial knife. The overly ornate knife that's probably absolutely no use whatsoever in a real fight. Oh. Oh, is that the end of the trip? Game over, that's the end of the game. A rock following you. Shall I play a little bit more? Shall I? Go on. Yes, because it's not really the best way to end a video, is it? To do end of a trip like that. Anyhow, carry on. Come on. Like I said, the loading screens are rather long in this game, I must admit. But uh, let's carry on. I say, well, oh, there you go. What are you doing to me now? Every time I wake up, he's doing more tattoos on me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for giving me extra tattoos while I'm stoned. Always want more then. Never have too many tattoos when you're stoned. Ooh. Who is this man in white? Let's find out. Okay, I skip forward the video a little bit. I've met the man in white, and he's directed me to find a drug field. Uh, he's given me a flamethrower, and I have to burn down all the drugs in for the mission. Uh, pretty much a cliched sort of uh, mission for these sort of outdoor sandbox games. I think there was one in Far Cry 2, and possibly uh, in uh, Just Cause, was it? I'm not sure, I can't remember, but yeah, I think maybe the first one there was one. And yeah, I've got to find this, uh, i got to find this thing, I'm uh, on my way there now. Uh, a little bit more travelling to do. So I've got my, I've picked out my sniper rifle, and uh, like I said, I've got a flamethrower the guy has given me. So I'm on my way, and then hopefully it's not too far. Uh, there is quite a lot of border tr patrols around this area as well, especially because this is an uncharted area, so I'm not quite sure what's what. So I need to uh, see there's quite a oh. Okay, he's spotted me. He spotted me. Okay, I'm not, I need to get out of it. That was a bit too risky. I didn't realise that. Oh, I've also only got one. Oh, I've only got one health thing as well, so I should have. I need to keep an eye out for any sort of uh, special uh, sort of those green things, green leaves on the map. There's lots of yellow. Not so yellow around here, but I need green, unfortunately. Some white there as well. So yeah, like I said, I need green. Not cows. Uh, I think you can kill them, but uh, I've never had much luck killing them. Uh, they always sort of uh, get me first. They go a bit mental and sort of ramming you. So I've never been too successful with the bovine persuasion. As it were. Uh, okay, look, I see it's over there. But, uh, oh. Oh, it's a nice, uh, conveniently placed hang glider there, so I, I shall be using that. It's nice and easy to use hang glider on like this. These were in the first one, weren't they? Far Cry Instinct, so the. I won't. I'll be a little bit more discreet. There you go. Uh, 
there is a couple of men down there, so I'm going to be a bit more quiet. If I can run to the drug patches, they, they can't. Gotta try the flamethrower. Dog can see me, that's why he's, he can hear barking. I'm going to go throughout the fire. I think I just need to tap it just slightly. I don't need to sort of... Uh, Ah, oh, gonna set fire to the dog. <laughs> Burn, doggy. Uh, let's use my drug. There you go. So I've got to watch it burn now. Let it get my choice completely decimated, as it were. Oh, that's always fun. for this one to oh there you go I've done that. so I've got to go to the next one now fortunately it's a bit more heavily patrolled this one oh shit he's spotted me already if I can keep running maybe he'll ignore me but I'm not normally that lucky Oh shit. Lucky I bought my sniper off right now. Yeah. They get their bloody dogs after me now, aren't they? Shit. Okay. Like I say, I am playing this on the hardest difficulty, so that is not exactly. Hello. Where are you going? I'm not over there, mate. That's just a. Uh... I get many uh, ammo for the sniper rifle, unfortunately, but uh, it's like $100 for 9 bullets in this game, so it's not exactly the cheapest weapon in the world. And also it makes a lot of noise until you've bought the uh, uh, silencer as well. So something I should have uh, invested in. Also, if you put out your thing, you can get your camcord uh, video camera out, you could spot any potential enemies and they've all buggered off they're looking for me over there oh shit I can hear one talking now Somebody spotted me. Ow, run, run, run away, run away. Ow, ow. Okay, I've got to run to the beach now. Ooh, it's a nice beach. Ooh. Absolute value. Nothing of value for me there. Yeah, one down. Managed to figure out he's burnt down one of the uh, crops, even though you're absolutely miles away from it and you have no possible meanings of seeing that you had done and uh, accomplished your burning mission. Okay, they can't see me in long grass apparently. Oh, that's a nice green thing I can do with that. Arrow root, that's a green leaf. Uh, unfortunately, I think I need to have another one before I can... Oh, hello. If I shoot, I'll give, I'll give away my position straight away. Oh, as is running like a bloody idiot. Well done, Larry. Okay. This music's really fun, isn't it? Oh, there you go. At least I can... Oh, there 
I can uh, craft some more uh, some uh, health packs now, so do that. Oh, I've got hay, apparently. Oh, I've got a couple of them, there you go. A couple of syringes, health syringes. Do one now, let's give it back up to full health. Oh, I don't know who I am. So he's trying to spot around there. There's another one there. Oh, bloody hell, loads of them. Do I need to do anything? The whole place seems to be burning down. But there you go, let's get my old camera out. Apparently video cameras can spot. I'm going things over there. He's on his own, that bloke. So I could run up behind him and knife him. Do I risk it? Oh, fuck it, yeah. He'll turn around at the last moment. There you go, fuck you. Get rid of him. That was a perk I picked up earlier that he can drag bodies and... So, I need to... Oh, spotted them now so oh one of them spotted me though because I'm running <sighs> getting quite nervous racking this isn't it yeah fire mate well done Yeah, there goes a thingy. Oh, they're killing themselves now. It's, I do like the fact in this game that you sort of uh, need to use your brain, sort of not just bomb around and shoot everything you see. That is quiet. But it is quite more, you know, you're not sort of, yeah, like I say, instead of bombing it. Shit, spotted me. Run away. Yeah, shooting me. Oh, run away, coward. Come on. Can I get him? In the head. Now I've got one more now to get. Did he spot me? No, he didn't. So he always dancing to the music, this one. Oh, it's typical. I don't want to keep. I've only got three bullets left now, so I don't really want to risk. Shall I risk it? Oh, fucking hell, I don't know. Bloody hell. 
Oh, cliff there, good job I didn't fall. Uh oh, oh. Okay, I need to find a way down. If I could slide backwards to this side, there's a slightly, yes, I don't know. Yeah, you need to do it, sort of do it at an angle and sort of pull back while doing it. And you can slide down. Oh, there's nobody guarding you, isn't there? Gun out, you bloody fool. Hopefully that's enough now. I'm going to keep running now. Are they still after me? No. Really? Got ya. Only got two bullets left, unfortunately. There you go, checkpoint reach. Burn, I've done all that, burn all the remaining drug crops. Now what do I do? Breach the fishing... Oh, God. So I've got two bullets. Two bullets. About a billion bloody guards after me now, and they're all pissed. I need to get to the beach now, so I need to figure out a way down there, come on, let me go this way. Oh, some more arrow route there, I can use that to... Uh... I'm not leaving the mission, I'm just walking around. So hopefully this is the end of the mission now. Let me just uh, zoom in, let me just detect them, okay. Can I swim across? Oh, I've got to destroy the boat. Okay. I failed this. Use an RPG. Where do I get this RPG from? Oh. Oh, I've messed this one up, haven't I? Bloody hell. I thought I had it, but I screwed up at the last moment. Oh. It's there as well. Oh. Poo. Ah, oh, right at the last moment as well. Okay, we'll try this one more time. We just skipped right to the uh, last section of the game uh, that I was at, that I failed at. Uh, let's try and see if I can sneak in there. Maybe I can swim across this time. Hopefully, I'll be undetected. I've done it, well done. Sorry, I went a bit quiet then because I got so carried away. I didn't realise that I've actually done it to do it. So there you go, a little bit of a jump screen jumping there see, because you didn't want me to play the mission all over again, did you? So there you go. So that's quite good fun. So all in all, I am really, really enjoying Far Cry 2, far more than I um, actually originally thought I was going to because like I said, I didn't really get on with Far Cry 2. Uh, I loved Far Cry 1, uh, Far Cry Instinct, I mean, I loved all the special powers you can get, like uh, the Predator powers and stuff like that, you can run around and sort of get people like that. So I was disappointed that Far Cry 2 had none of that. But uh, this is uh, rather enjoyable, let's, uh, let's go a fast track there because I can't be asked to walk over there. But yes, I'm actually really enjoying it. I've seen a few magazines that are giving this uh, like 5 out of 5s and 9 out of 10s and that. And I would be inclined to agree, it's just a shame that Ubisoft haven't really given this as much a promotion as they had to uh, sort of uh, 
Assassin's Creed 3, they sort of kept it buried under there, and that's a shame, really, because this is a really, really good game. And like I said, it's one of those games that you have to use your brain into um, actually doing missions rather than just uh, running around shooting everything you see, like Call of Duty or something. So I am really enjoying it. So, yes, quite surprising. Uh, I've yet to play multiplayer yet. Uh, I've seen Ian's been doing some uh, user-created maps and that, so maybe we'll be able to do another video quite soon uh, of us doing um, some multiplayer action but uh, that's it I am like I said I am really impressed with Far Cry 3 so I would recommend it anyhow thanks very much for watching I've been Guru Larry goodbye and good gaming <laughs>